Hey YouTube, we're now going to start with Chapstick because we don't have Chapstick on. We have on the lip gloss from the Nima Tang Dosa Colors collection and the gloss is called Ejin. If I'm not mistaken, it's named after one of her dogs. So we're just going to reapply this. We're going to jump in. You see from the title, this is a roundup. I didn't put ranking in the title because there is no way. I have 19 items, including... Um, the Pat McGrath singles that I use. And I'm like, there is no way I can rank all of these. But what I can do, <clears throat> I'm going to do a brief review of what I thought about the palette as I used it. Not including the look. If the look was busted, it was busted. But my review is only based on the performance. And most of the looks I did like, except for the Xenon, because I was experimenting. So some of them is like, girl, why you do that? Because we try new things here. And we learn from our mistakes. <laughs> That's why. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Dion. The short of the intro is, I call this the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy, just enjoying doing videos. And if you don't do videos, enjoying the channels that you watch on YouTube. And the troll part is not caring too much about the beauty community standards. You set the standard for yourself. Wear whatever you want to, however you want to, because you need to like how your makeup looks. The bottom line, though, and what we stand for here at the crazy troll nation is self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features enhancing them if you want to when you want to but never feeling like you have to that's the concept of the crazy troll nation if you're new here i do need to let you know i do curse on my channel sometimes because i curse sometimes period i try to catch myself sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but if you ever wonder did she really say that i'm sure i did i'm sure i did so i have y'all i i okay this is a stack <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do the thumbnail, like when I pick them all up. This is a stack. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. This was underneath that stack. Excuse me. And I'm not going to edit this out. I'm just going to reach down and grab something that fell. And I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. Because I am I usually drop stuff. We got this stuff. <sighs> Y'all, I when I looked at my calendar, and these are the Pat McGrath singles. When I looked at my calendar, October 1st to today, which is the 31st, I'm like, oh, hell, that's a lot of palettes. But I'm proud of myself because everything I said I was going to use, because I did a palette, what I'm going to use next, I used all of that stuff. Except, I don't know if the new limited edition MAC palettes are included in what I said I was going to use next. And so I think that's three palettes I need to use. They are limited edition, even though they're Christmassy because it looks like, you know, uh, snowflakes on the front. It came out in October. So I'm like, it's limited edition, but it looks like it's for winter time, but it's October, which is the spooky season. So I was a little confused. And being limited edition, like I, how long are they going to be here? I don't know. All of these palettes, I do have a playlist for specifically the name of the brand and the name of the palette. So if you want to look up the looks I've done, um, just go to my playlist or my channel because it'll be way too much to list them all in the description box. Um, I also have some affiliate links below for some of these items. The majority of them, if they're still available, is in my shop, my store. So you can just click on that. And you can also go to specific websites, Sephora site, Pat McGrath site, blah, blah, blah. Once you're on the site, whatever you purchase, I will get a small commission off of that. And you'll still get whatever deal or sell or percentage off the website itself has, even if you go through my shop, my link. Um, and there are a few miscellaneous links. I have an affiliate link for Natasha Denona and a 15% off code for her website. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So let's just get into it. If you do use my links, I appreciate it. The money does, the, the, and I don't get a lot, y'all really don't. But whatever I do get that comes in, it does go back into purchasing stuff um, for the channel. So let's get into this. Um, I'm going to start with, uh, so I'm going to just start with the Pat McGrath singles. The look that I did with this, and I have a video for everything because these are all things I used in October. So this is one of them, the one that, the shadow fell out and I pressed it in. This is, and I kept calling it entrapment in the video, and it's called enraptured. That's what that looks like, putting that away. This one, 
<clears throat> and I found these at TJ Maxx and or Marshalls. This is Burnished Honey. And I'm told that these were from a palette eons ago. This is Rose Venus. And I don't think they sold well because these are the only singles and then they just kind of disappeared and then they popped up a few years ago at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is Dark Matter, which is a black. This is nice to have. The first one I had, it was very dry. I was hesitant to buy it again, but I thought I'll just get all of them that I saw and put in my Macari store, sell them as a set. They didn't sell, so I used them. And this one actually is not dry, so I, I am glad to have it. Like, it's nice just to have a single black, like if you just need you just want to darken up darken up a look you can just grab it really quick this one is also a nice deep shade this is deep velvet she pretty she pretty this one if i remember was a tad patchy if i re if i'm remembering correctly and this one is divine mink which i know for sure is in decadence but all of these came from a palette i just don't know which ones because i didn't i wasn't into pat back then and so, but I am glad to have them. I use all of them in the look. And if I'm not mistaken, I did really like the look. Because y'all know I'll be just packing on shadows. And we're going to see what's going to happen. And we saw what was going to happen. And it was pretty cute. So, those, again, I'm not ranking anything. If you see these at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I do recommend them. If you have, if, I think they were $7.99. And single shadows are anywhere from you know, 10 to like 15 bucks. You know what I mean? So it was a good price finding these for $7.99. If you do see in Raptured, it's very soft. These are matte. Divine Mink is a metallic, but all the rest are mattes, except this one is a metallic. This one, I don't, this is not metallic. I don't know what it is, but it is extremely soft. And I opened it, like how I opened up whichever one that I did open up. And I'm like, oh, what's the name of it? I did this with this and the whole shadow just fell out the pan. <laughs> it's very soft and even using it is like super soft. So if you do find in Rapture, just know to treat it with care. And unlike the palette I dropped earlier, like I hadn't dropped it or anything. It just fell out the, the pan. But it is very pretty. It is very pretty. So I do recommend those. Um, actually, almost everything. <laughs> I recommend this right here I was pleasantly surprised by I did a look by itself with the scratch that first part because that's irrelevant to what I'm gonna say the 50 50 makeup which is no longer around this is the autumn palette I love this palette if you see something you like and it's not available just look at the colors and do about the vibes even if it's a palette it is still available don't feel like you have to buy it. See what's in your collection that's similar and just do about the vibes. But I really enjoy this palette. I did a look with it by itself and I loved it. This is Swamp of Sorrows from Necromancy Cosmetica. I, this palette, I did, for maybe like three or four videos, I was talking about how I struggled with it and I was making myself use it. I felt like I was forcing it. Then I'm like, am I going to keep it? I love the shadows. They're very pigmented. These two make me look kind of dusty. These two show up the same on me. So I'm just like... You know, and so I thought not to keep it. And then I said, you know what? I did a look with, when I did, this is hard to hold because it wants to fold up into the little book that it is. I had the thought to pair it with the autumn palette because of the oranges, the browns, and you know, the greens. I paired it and I loved that look. And I intentionally used these two shades down here that make me look dusty slash ashy dusty slash ashy and i really love the look so these two paired together i would kind of put this near the top so what i'm gonna do even though i'm not ranking i'm gonna put my top picks in a separate palette and then we'll come back to that later and this is wanting to close up but it doesn't close up this way it closes up this way so these two together necromancy cosmetica is still around you can find them on Instagram, um, but 50-50 makeup is no longer around. So if you like the color story, I'm going to show you again. Just dupe the vibes for this palette. It is beautiful. And that center shade, I want to say it, it is a dual chrome, but it's a typical dual chrome. It's like green and then like a reddish type thing. So it's, the, it's a basic dual chrome shade, but it's very pretty. So I'm going to put that there. Hopefully I won't forget why it's there. This I paired... I've used these individually before and I paired them for a look because I'm still experimenting with pairing palettes. It's not something I normally do. 
um, but it takes me out of my comfort zone because when I see a palette, I'm like, oh, the shadows are go together. It's all in one palette. And so picking up different palettes, where did I do one look, one eye? I don't remember. I'm probably lying to you. But for me to take several palettes or even two palettes and think of how to make them work, that's new for me because my eye is sometimes plays tricks on me, I think. But this is the, from the Star Wars collection, Pat McGrath, the golden one. This one I like because these shadows are creamy. I hate, I said it, I hate her chunky monkeys. I've learned to work with them. I've learned to appreciate them. But if I had a choice, give me this creamy formula or give me the big formula for the celestial shades. These are all creamy. I love them. Um, for Pat McGrath quince, I have a playlist for quince and quads, not each palette on its own because how many looks am I just going to do with the quint? You know what I'm saying? So that's this one. This one also creamy shades, Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette, bronze bliss. What surprised me, I'm going to back up to the Star Wars collection. What surprised me? I had Sith Seduction. Them shadows was messy as hell. And these, Star Wars collection still, these are creamy. So I'm like, why is it a different formula? So I was surprised that this one was the formula it was. And I, I don't know if I seen it on sale or at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or whatever. And I'm like, I'll try it. And then they even look different. They don't look chunky monkey. They look like they would be smooth and creamy. And they were. This is Bronze Bliss. These two are the same formula. I love this formula. Love the look I did. I don't typically go for cool tones, but it's something about deepening it up with a black or, or like this shade here. It just worked. And so I'm thinking I paired these two for a look. I think I did, because I remember saying it was kind of tricky because one leans neutral and one leans cool. So I'm pretty sure I paired these together. I did like the look. It wouldn't be in my top pick only because I don't have a lot of options for matte shades. The black or the charcoal looking shade in here is a matte, excuse me for the glare, and the two orangey, reddish, burgundy, whatever type tones. I'm not good at describing colors in this palette are mattes. But other than that, it's like, what are you going to do if you're going to pair them? But we did it because we tried things and I do remember liking the look. This would probably be in the middle. I really do like the formula of these two quints. Which brings me to what's on my eyes today. This is also from Celestial Nirvana. And this is Nude Allure. Saw this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I think it might have been $17. This is what I'm wearing today. We have one all five shades. These shadows are creamy. Very minimal fallout. Like extremely, I can count the specs. <laughs> extremely minimal fallout. So we have all five of these on. And it probably doesn't look like it. This, this is an easy palette to work with. It would not be in my top pick because this is not my preference for how I like my makeup to look. I prefer dark, smoky, or messy grunge with a little punk thrown in. You know, just something dark. <laughs> and so even though it's very pretty and it was very easy to do, and I would travel with this because there is minimal fallout. I don't have to worry about... You know, is this going to like create a mess on my face and then I got to clean it up? Like this was very easy to use, very easy to do this look. And it is a pretty look. It's just not my preference for every day, even though some people would consider it every day because it's like light tone, monochromatic type stuff. But so this, this wouldn't rank near the top only because it's not my aesthetic. And what I just noticed, well, maybe because they're different names. This is new to Lori, so it looks new, the packaging. This is Bronze Bliss and it looks pink. I, I, I don't always understand Pat's vision. I do understand Natasha's vision when I look at her palace. But Pat, I always don't understand. Um, no shade, I'm just saying. This is 50-50 makeup. Again, the brand is no longer around. This is their winter palette. I did a look with this and, and I love this palette. I love these tones. I love these shades. I love the looks that I do. This would also probably kind of be near the top because it gives me that messy grunge that I like. And I I just adore this palette. I do have a 50-50 makeup playlist. And again, every brand has a playlist. And if it's more than just, you know, two palettes, each palette will have its own playlist. Like for the motherships, each mothership has its own playlist. If I paired them, I have a playlist for Pat McGrath mothership pairings. Or it says palette pairings, Pat McGrath laps motherships or something. So if it's pairing the motherships, that's a playlist by itself. If it's just 
motherships by themselves. It has its own playlist and playlist and the same with Natasha Denona. Each one has its own playlist. This is a MAC BYOP palette. Most of these shades I purchased from um, the CCO. Where you live, it might be the CCS. CCO is cosmetics com cosmetic company store. CCO is cosmetic company outlet. And everything in that store is under the Estee Lauder brand. So you got Tom Ford, you got Clinique, you got Bobby Brown, of course, Estee Lauder. Um, you have Mac. Uh, what else do they have? They have other stuff in there. And it's brands I don't use, and so that's why I kind of forget. This time of year, around Black Friday, they have amazing deals at the CCO. Sometimes they have what they call six for 60. And it's a select section. Um, but six of the items you can get for 60 bucks, which is great because... I'll say at least half of Estee Lauder brands are high end. And then there's some that, well, I'll say luxury, like the Estee Lauder, Tom Ford, you know, Bobby Brown, you know, I would consider high end, well, luxury. Um, Mac, I would consider high end and Tarte. I don't know what I consider Tarte or Clinique, but so you have a range from luxury to quote unquote, unfordable makeup. And I struggle with the word affordable because if you can afford it, it's affordable for you. And I think people say affordable meaning inexpensive, sort of like drugstore type prices. But even now, like some drugstore stuff, the prices are like 15, 18 bucks. So like, what are you saying? I don't know. Um, but this, most of these came from the CCO or the CCS. And I think maybe three or four I got from the Mac store. Um, and I use points and, you know, got discounts and things like that. I do have a referral code for Mac if you use that. I do have a referral code for Rakuten. If you're shopping online, use Rakuten. It doesn't have to be through my referral code. There's also Honey. There's also Capital One. But use somebody's referral code because you get cash back on what you spend for your purchase. So you spend the money and you're earning a percentage back on that. So shop wisely and always shop responsibly. So I did two looks with this palette. Um, one look, I think we used nine of the shades or eight of the shades and yeah because i remember we used these two rows and so the last look was these four and i'm like what the hell am i doing that bright ass green and i had a vision when i was putting the palette together but when i sat and looked at it like a month later i was looking at this color story like what the hell and then i'm like i must have seen something to put this together and when i did this look it was really really nice when i did this look it was really really nice and so <laughs> MAC is among my top brands because their shadows work for me. The formulas are tried and true. They do have different formulas. I like them all except their dazzling extreme or extreme dazzle shadows because they're very flaky and I don't like dealing with mess. But the shine... If you want to shine and you don't do like and you don't mind the mess, the same with some of the chunky monkey celestial shades. Some people they love to shine, so they don't care about the mess. But their extreme dazzle shadow, I'm like, oh, I don't know. But for me, Mac is tried and true, and there's quite a few Mac in here, and a few more of the limited edition palettes I need to try um, that I have purchased. But this is what this palette looks like. So Mac as a whole would be at the top near the top just because i just love their formula it just works for me I, it's no fuss no muss and for me mac shadows show up true to pan except for the chrome yellow and the connecting color hi-fi palette but other than that and it was one other shadow i think in the future flames connecting color that was patchy but other than that i love their formula and the shadows show up true to pan what i see in the pan is what goes on my lid this one i went back to Moolah Bank. So the video I did, what you'll see for me next, was palettes I hadn't used in a while that I enjoyed using them. And I'm like, I need to, you know, get back to them. This was one of them, the Moolah Bank. Um, the video I did for this, I think I did six looks, one video. We used every shade, I think at least twice throughout that video. It was a long video. A lot of my videos are. This one's going to be, I can feel it in my bones because we got like 19 things to go through. But when I first started, these shades here, these shimmer shades, was messy as hell. But as I continued using them in different looks, it became easier to use. And so really what it was, was just a learning curve for me to learn how to work with these shades. This one 
across the board gave me issues. This is a, a dense shade, but it's also creamy. So it doesn't, for me, I had trouble applying it, but once I got it on, it was really nice, but then trying to blend it. And then it was just like, ugh, like, do I really want to deal with this? And it is a very pretty shade though. So I, I like that I did that video with all the looks in one video because you saw the process of, okay, I hate these three to, okay, these aren't that bad to, okay, wow, this is really nice. And so there were a lot of different emotions in that video. And so I am glad that I did it that way. The mattes are phenomenal. Um, did I say this was Martine Cosmetics, Moulin Bang Ballet? I don't even remember if I said that. But I purchased it knowing it was lighter than I like because I'm thinking, you know, you have a black here, you have a brown. I can deepen up if I want to. Um, I am glad that I have it, but part of me is like, how often am I going to use it? And especially because I recently built another Lethal palette and I love their, their um, metallic formula. And I'm thinking some of those shades might be similar to this one. But it is something about having everything in one palette where I can get... A variety of looks from and I do really like the look that I did with this palette this would be somewhere in the middle only because it's lighter than what I tend to go for for myself the shades that are like this one and this one even though they're bright and even this one they show up for me just as a very nice transition shade this doesn't show up this bright on me neither does this one and this doesn't show up as bold it looks kind of muted almost like this one just a little bit brighter because you see this is brighter than that one but for me i've learned from their other palette which i did not use this month um i think it was it had to be mission triple x because i only have three and 669 is right here and this is this one so i only have three of three martine cosmetics palettes but i learned from mission triple x that these bright tones they don't show up bright on me. They make for a really nice transition shade or a nice buff out shade for me. And so that's enjoyable. So in that sense, they don't show up like they do in the pan, but they look very pretty on. And it may be my complexion. It may be my undertone. I don't know. And so, but I do enjoy this palette. I want to use it some more. Part of me is thinking of decluttering it. But then when I look at it, I remember why I liked it and I do like the looks that I did with it. The beginning was very rocky as I mentioned, but as I progressed through it and kept using it, I'm like, this palette is really nice. And learning to work with these shades, the same as I learned to work with the Celestial Chunky Monkey shades, once I learned to work with them, it's like, okay, this isn't bad. Um, but I, I don't find that I use it a lot and I have to make it a point to use it. And so that's what's making me wonder if I want to declutter it because I want stuff to be used and not just be here to be here. And so that's my dilemma with this. It is a beautiful palette. I love this palette. I like the looks that I did with it, but it would just be in the middle because it's lighter than my everyday preference. Um, we went back to Biba. Natasha Denona Neutral Palette. Y'all, I love Biba. I need to use it more, but because it's not dark and smoky, I tend to not gravitate to it. But if I just want a very pretty, very easy, very simple neutral look, this palette has everything. It has everything. Even like th this shade doesn't show up ashy on me. This one borderline, depending on what I put it next to, but it's great for like the edges of this one right here. I love that it has a black in here. I love Natasha Denona's creamy matte formula and her cream to powder formula. And there's a lot of that in here. And her metallics are not the super high shine, which I don't mind because I like the dark. I like the smoky. I like the messy grunge. And so high shine doesn't fit in with that aesthetic. You know what I mean? But once in a while, though, it is nice to switch it up. And we're going to talk about that later with another Natasha Denona palette. And you might know which one I'm talking about. But if you, if these are your tones, meaning if these show up on you and you like how they show up on you, I highly recommend Biba. It, it, it's a neutral palette. It says it's a neutral palette. <laughs> this, though... And if you don't want to use it on its own, which I have used it only so far on its own, it would be a, a nice and company palette. Okay, you need a black, you want to blend out with a gray, you want, you know, one of these rusty tones or whatever. This has it. 
you just want something quick for brow bone depending on your complexion that is it or for you this may be your transition shade if you don't want this on your lid this can be for your upper lash line this this that's near the top when i start stuttering it's because i'm excited and i'm having so many thoughts and my mouth can't keep up with what my brain is saying <laughs> so that's what all of that is sometimes and i'm like I, 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 uh, <laughs> You know what I mean? This one right here, Pat McGrath, Divine Rose. This is Mothership number seven. I I was curious about this one because this is a neutral palette too. I don't prefer me. Excuse me. What was that? Was that part of my breakfast? My oatmeal? <laughs> Gross. We're keeping it in the video because we just keep rolling here. I don't prefer me in all cool tone palettes, it's, but a long time I was considering subliminal, which is, they say it's cool tone. And I kept looking at it like, but it's smoky though. And I like smoky though. And I finally broke down. It was a 40% off sale that seemed to last like a month. And so I finally broke down and bought it for 40% off, which for me, it came down to like $77 and some change. I live in the state of Delaware, no sales tax, and it was free shipping. $77 and some change for mothership? Okay. And you know what? I loved it. I loved it. I loved the first look I did, loved the second look. And usually with the motherships, it takes me the third or fourth look to be like, okay, yeah, this is my vibe. That one was my vibe from day one when I used it. And it surprised me. And so I'm looking at this one like, hmm, is this going to surprise me like subliminal? And also, because I like her matte formula, I like her metallic formula, this one has baked celestial shades. Someone just mentioned recently that Astral Solstice is a Midnight Sun, and it is, and I thought it sounded familiar. And what's curious about that is Midnight Sun is Mothership number six. This is Mothership number seven. It's the same shade, but Mothership number one, Subliminal. Mothership number two, Sublime. Mothership three, Subversive. All of them have a black in it the same exact black <laughs> and so but i i like dark and smoky so you give me a black i don't care but i kept thinking it sounded familiar i <sighs> this is at the bottom because even seeing the look i have one now and i can do with this this is this for me is easily dupable it's a very easy palette to use it's not a lot of fuss minimal to zero fallout i can do a look and it look pretty with barely any effort so if you like just basic neutral you can just slap it on don't have to worry if it's going to look pretty then i do recommend this if you like dark smoky vampy messy grunge i don't recommend it because <laughs> the deepest you're going to get with this on its own is using this one to deepen it up other than that like this 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 ain't my vibe this ain't my vibe. I'm on the fence on whether or not to keep it because I mentioned earlier, I I have I had a series, which isn't complete yet, um, of pairing Pat McGrath palettes. And so this would come in handy for that. But part of me is like, do I just want to keep it just to feel like I need to pair it with something else to get my vibe? You know what I mean? At the same time, though, it is nice when I'm doing the dark looks, the messy grunge looks, or I'm experimenting and the looks are coming out busted, this is a comfort zone. Even though it's not my preferred color story, I know I can pick it up and do a pretty look real quick with no fuss. And sometimes it's nice to just have that comfort. You know what I mean? And so that's the part of me that's saying to keep it along with pairing it with other Pat McGrath palettes. But in a part of me, it's like, if you're only going to pick it up to be comforted, you have other palettes that are just as easy to use and you do like the color stories. Like the 50-50 makeup, those are easy to use, no fuss. And it gives me the vibe I want. And so I'm really on a fence about this one. If this is your color story, have at it. And I know some people, this is their favorite. And people like me were like, it ain't my vibe. But I purchased it because I was curious. And I do love her formula. I love the baked celestial shades. I love her matte formula. I love her metallic formula. And so I knew this palette was going to work for me as far as ease of use, even though the color story was questionable. You know what I mean? But I knew what I was buying when I bought it. And that's why, again, another sale. <laughs> I do not pay full price for any Pat McGrath palettes, and I don't recommend you do that either because her website has 
sells often. I do have a shop my link to get you to Pat McGrath's website. And if there's a sale on the website, you will still get that sale. So this would be at the bottom, just because this is not my preferred color story. I'm going to dig to the bottom here because this we only use one shadow this time this month. Lethal Cosmetics build your own palette, but these are all shades from the Wild Flower palette. I didn't want the whole palette. So these six shades are all from the Wild Flower palette. I always want to say Wild Fire. That's why I always slow down when I say it. Wild Flower palette. And when I use this, I do like the looks that I did. This is a dual chrome. So you see how here it looks really bright and then here it's a purple. I used it, you know, with these other shades. <clears throat> Excuse me, I like the looks that I did and I'm thinking what would this look like over a base? And I think, but I'm not sure that I did swatches either, probably on my face. I usually do swatches on my face because it's closest to my eye and my hand is not the same shade as my face. And so for me to get the best representation without doing eyelid swatches of a bunch of shades and my eyelids being pissed off at me, I do swatches usually on my forehead. And so I was wondering, like, I wanted to use this over a base because I had swatched this somewhere with different color bases. And I'm like, I want to see this on my lid over a base. And so I did a look with this on the lid over a shadow base. I forget which one I used, probably a MAC Paint Pot or a MAC Fluid Line. And the look, this, this is a pretty shade. If you are already considering making a lethal order, they do have sales on their website. I do recommend getting this shade. Did I tell you the shade name? This is Untamed and it will not be tamed. This is a beautiful dual chrome shadow and I'm not going to swatch it. I want to, I want to swatch it for you, but then I'm going to be swatching a bunch of other stuff and I don't want this video to be super long because I know my videos are usually kind of long anyway, not kind of, but they are. So, but this right here, if you like the high shine shimmer shimmer, you will like Untamed. And everything else in here is matte, but this goes with everything in here except this one. This is a neon pink. It is UV reactive. I, I haven't been anywhere where I had that effect, but this goes with this. Untamed goes with this and with this. This is a barely there transition shade for me or just a buff out lower lash line. Um, but this goes, of course, with the purples. But this goes with all of these in here because of the tone of it. This is a pretty shade on its own, just over a regular primer, and is beautiful over a shadow base. Lethal Cosmetics, I love their formula. A lot of formulas don't work for me because my lids do not tolerate pressed pigments, and so that limits like a lot of brands. And so on my website, well not my website, on my channel, this channel here, you will see a lot of the same brands because those are the brands that work. If it's brands that they're known for using pressed pigments in their shadows, I'm not buying it, my eyelids don't like it. So that's why you'll see me with a lot of the same brands because it works and lethal's formula except they're pure metals that collection my eyelids was like no those shadows are in my macari store right now but they're they're mattes they're metallics they just work and they show up true to pan unless it's a dual chrome or a multi-chrome but like these shades this is what they look like when i put them on my lid and just like with the MAC shadows. So Letha would be at the top with MAC because which what I see is what I get when I put it on. No fuss, no muss. The color is what the color is. The blending is there. Um, minimal to no fallout. So that's going to be at the top with MAC. So I'm putting that over there with that stuff. What else is over there? Okay. Speaking, uh, we're going <laughs> to... I rearranged my Natasha Denona Trio Chrome palette. And in here, so I'm calling this my Trio Chrome Quint palette because I put other quints in here and I have a paper. This top, this, these three, what are those from? These three, shit. These, am I looking at it right? These three. These three are from the Fez palette. These three are from the Fez Quint. These shades right here. This row, these four, these are from the Trio Chrome palette. These are mattes from the Trio Chrome palette. 
these four right here, these are from the Ayana Quint. These four down here, these are from the Alloy Quint. And so that's why I call it my Trio Chrome Quint palette because this was a Quint, this was a different Quint, this was a different Quint. These are from Trio Chrome. So I did a look and I made sure to mix and match because I'm like, oh, I can do a look with these four. Well, these four were in the same quint. Oh, I can do a look with these four. They were in the same quint. So I'm like, so I made it a point to mix up the quint shades to do a look. And I really like the look that I created with this. This is Acrobat, even though these three are from the Fez palette. This is Acrobat and it's the same Acrobat that's in the circle local palette but i really like the look that i did with this palette i'm loving this this way when i purchased trio chrome the trio chrome shades were in the middle i tried two of them along with the row of colors it was in they irritated the hell out of my lids i never used the one that was here at the bottom and so i put them in my macari store they sold and so what i had put in here like if you look back over videos for trio chrome i had put in shades from um, the heather austin a depth palette but surprisingly i never used them but i did mix and match some of the trio chrome mattes with beans and booty yeah that's for you dawn from the mothman palette from notorious morbid and i really like pairing it with that but then i kept looking looking at the entire palette like am i really going to use these shades and then i had quince that i really liked but then i'm like it would be easy just to like have it in like a full palette and have this variety so it may look a little funky but you'd be surprised what you can do when you come out of your comfort zone to do things. And I'm looking at this now. This is a nice little quad. You can use those four shades. This right here, that's a nice quad. This right here, this is a nice quad. If you want to be funky, this could be a nice light airy quad. Airy because this can just be out of corner, but these are lighter tones. Or, you know, just use this diagonal come down here. Or just use like these three right here for an all matte look. So even looking at this, this is pretty, I think. <laughs> I do. And I'm looking at it like, hmm. So me, when I have thoughts and I'm looking at a palette and I see looks I can do, I get excited about that because my skill set really isn't all that, I don't think. I mean, I, I know I do, usually I do nice looks. But I have to sit and look and be like, okay, I'll put this here, put this there. I, I don't, it's hard for me to just pick up a palette and be like, oh, how some people, they're like, okay, we're going to take this shade, put it here. And then they're like, mm, yeah, okay, then we'll just, like, I'm not good at that. I need to spend like, you know, two to four minutes looking at a palette and write down what I'm going to put where. And then that's what I normally do unless I have a light bulb moment or I don't like something. And I'm like, you know what, let's just kind of put this here because I'm not liking how this looks. And then I'm like, oh, okay, that turned out pretty nice. And so, but that's my process, my process, which is why I say I'm not really that creative because I, I, it's a different type of creativity. I have to look and plan it where some people, they can just look at a palette and pull out stuff, put it on and it works. And I'm like, um, your yeah, troll don't function like that. But when I did this look, cause it was only five shades, I was like, okay, this is what we're going to do. Cause there's only five shades. You feel me? But, um, Natasha's formula, I already said it's at the top because I love her formula. So I'm going to put that over here because we have a Natasha Denona in the palette of my top picks. Also, <clears throat> we went back to Circle Loco palette. This, you see how my face just lit up, right? And I have papers of other looks to do in here. This, this palette is so much fun. I've heard people say, oh, it's a great companion palette. I have only used this on its own. Look at my playlist, y'all. Y'all going to be like, those looks is bomb. The majority of them. <laughs> I've only used this on its own. So if you look at it and be like, oh, nice companion palette, come out of your comfort zone, y'all. And if, you, if you're not sure, you want to be monochromatic, take this pink, this one, and that one. If you want to be monochromatic, this orange, that one, and this one. This one and this one shows up the same on me. One is matte and one is metallic, but they show up exactly the same on me. But if you want easy monochromatic, use the two oranges and pop this one on the lid. If you want to be monochromatic and you want to do blues, you know, this one. This this is Acrobat. Is it? Yeah. No, that's electric. Where's Acrobat? This is Acrobat. The, ow. This thing pinched my finger. This 
is Aquabat, the one that was in the Fez palette that's in the Trilchrome print palette. But if you want to do blue monochromatic, put them two on there, or slap this somewhere. If you want to do monochromatic purple, this right here. This and this one may look similar. This one leans till, and you notice it's over where the blues are. This one has a purple tint to it. It's up here with the purples. You could use this to blend out or for transition if you want to. Natasha's palettes, she sets them up in a way where you can do rose. Maybe not this row. But this, you, you can do rose. This, will, this may be a good transition or put on lower lash line depending on your complexion and what you like. This can definitely be a row. You know, use this for your upper lash line if you don't want to put it on your lid. But the way she sets up her palettes, like if you just look at them, they're not chaotic. Well, not to me. This shade, which is Grin, this is not quite a, a dual chrome, but it's just something about it that whatever you put it next to, it just rocks. This looks great with this. It looks great with that. It looks great with this. It looks great with that. It looks great with this shade. It looks great with that one. This shade right here. I'm just like, yo, like th this palette, it inspires me because it looks different. Because a lot of people, they were like, I'm not getting it because it looks chaotic. It's called Circle Loco, which means crazy circus. So, it's, yeah, it's going to look crazy. It's supposed to. Natasha knows how to match what's inside the palette with the name of the palette. So even, and usually the coloring is the same. Look at the colors on here. Look at this. That's what you get. She's really good about that. And so if you think about it, all of her palettes, what the outside looks like is usually 99.9% .9 of the time what the inside looks like. And the shade, this is just so much fun. So if you want just to see some funkiness in a good way, funky being a good thing most times in Trollville, you'll be like, yeah. This is one I would recommend. And last year for Black Friday sale, she did bundles um, on her website. And so it was really like getting one palette for the two palettes for the price of one. And she had paired this one with Biba. But I've only used Biba by itself and I've only used Circle Local by itself. But I'm going to hold them up since Biba is right here. And so if you really don't know what to do with it or you're looking at it and you're stuck just watch some of my videos <laughs> or pair it. I've never paired these two together, but I, I can see why last year she sold these as a bundle and her bundle deals are really good because it is like getting two palettes for the price of one. So if you want a neutral tone, outer corner, transition shade, you know, go into Biba and then take one of the pops of color from Circle Loco and just put it on the lid or something. I mean, it, I, 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 I'm excited that you, y'all saw how my face lit up when I opened it. This palette is so much fun to me and for me. I haven't paired it with anything else yet at all. I've only ever used it on its own. The majority of the looks I like, and I say that because this one makes me look ashy, dusty, and so does this one. But if I'm not mistaken, I am not mistaken. The last look I did with this, I used the purples. And I use this as an upper transition shade. That look was bomb. It was bold. It was purple. It was gorgeous. And it surprised me because I'm always like, this shade made me look dusty. I don't like it. But that look, I was like, let's just keep finagling it. And yo, that, if you like purple, you like bold, watch that video. And my thumbnail is a picture of the look with me holding the palette. So you know what you're, you're you know what the end result is going to be. And so if you like how the thumbnail looks, or if you're just like, wow, that's bold how she do that, then go ahead and click and watch that video. But this this palette right here, this is a fresh one because when it was a sale, I had purchased a backup. For me, her formula does turn, and I think it's the whatever makes the creamy match creamy and the cream to powder creamy. Um, so that is a fresh one. And actually, the Biba is a fresh one as well, because I and I'm glad they're not limited edition. This right here. <laughs> I emailed them saying, are there plans to bring it back? And the short answer was no. They were like, well, we don't have any plans to restock, but we're coming up with new and exciting things. You you can't get more new and exciting for me from that brand, Martine Cosmetics 669 palette. When I saw this palette, I knew I was buying it. I ordered it from Belgium. It was extra for shipping. I didn't care. I'm like, I, this 
This palette is 100% my vibe. This is a dual chrome. So it's pink and then it's green. This is a dual chrome. So it's like a deep purple. And then you have that turquoise shade. I this this one always flakes on me. I think I just spit. <laughs> Excuse me. This is Cornelia. This this is a messy hoe over here. But the everything else in here, I made it a point to use this on the lid over a base. Because I've only seen people use it for tear duct. And I'm just like, come on now. Really? And I, I use it for tear duct too. And I said, I want to use this on its own on a lid. And I don't remember what base I use. But I have a, a video with this on the lid. This is beautiful. Some people complained. You have a matte black. You have a sparkle black. You have a charcoal black. I don't care. <laughs> They do show up a little different because this one is a lot deeper than this one. And even looking at them, you see how one looks a little charcoal-ish. And some say when they put this on, you didn't see the sparkle. When I wear this, I can see the sparkle. But yeah, it depends on what, what I don't know. But this is 100% my vibe. I, 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 I want them to bring this back. The PAO was 24 months and it is quickly approaching, but I will use this until I think it's going to start irritating my lids. But this, this right here, I want them to bring this back. And if they don't, bring back another dark smoky palette similar to this one. That's what I want them to do. If you're not going to bring this back, if someone from Martine Cosmetics just happened to be watching this, even if you make just one for me, I'll pay extra. Like, for real, if you don't want to make a whole batch, I, I, I'll buy the one. I don't care about the price, as long as it's not, like, $200. But I'm being serious. Like, I love this that much, where I would pay Pat McGrath prices, for which I did because of the shipping and stuff. But I would pay Pat McGrath full price cost for this palette. That's how much I love it. Like, seriously. This this excites me. It's 100% my vibe. I can, any, I can get dark. <clears throat> I can get smoky. I can get messy grunge. I can get a hint of punk. I can get vampy. And you can do monochromatic ethereal looks if you want. Check it. This shade, this one, that one. Monochromatic. This shade, this one. Take this one. Even though I think it's a dual chrome. but Yeah, it's a dual chrome. That shade. So take these three. You can do ethereal. You can do light looks. Take this shade, this shade and maybe that one use the black for upper lash line if you want kind of monochromatic but you want a dark look take these three right here you see what i'm saying and take this one so you this this gives me so much variety for all the different aesthetics i like dark smoky messy grunge vampy this gives me all of that in this one palette and i love it and i want to keep using it before the PAO and it starts to turn, <laughs> if it does. But, and I do have sensitive skin, so that's why that's important to me. Some people are like, oh, I had sun and palette for 12 years. I'm like, what? Woo, my lips would have been like, bitch, no. And, and, mm -mm. We're going to pop your eyeballs out of your head if you use that one more again, okay? But this, 100% my vibe. And I was thinking like, could I dupe this with lethal shadows? It, 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 mm. And I love the formula of this. The shimmers in Moolah Bank is different than this. And this only has, well, it's probably like this one because this one was really flaky. The other metallics in here, they were fine. Like they weren't flaky, like not flaky at all. But this one is similar to the Moolah Bank shimmers, the metallics. I'm just like, this is a mess until I learned how to work with them. But this is 100% my vibe. And I I really hope, if you're watching, come out with something similar to this. Because we love it. Those of us that this fits our vibe, we friggin' love it. One thing I like about Martine Cosmetics and also like Natasha Denona, when they do a theme, they rock it. And every palette is distinct from other palettes in their brand. They do not dupe themselves. I have this one. I have Mission Triple X and I have Moolah Bank. All distinctly different. But this this one... I really want, I want them to do another one. There is no palette I've seen that I'm like, hell yeah, the way I'm like, hell fucking yeah for this palette. And I know I just got graphic, but this, 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 
let's move on. I, I can keep talking about that palette, as you see. So we're going to move on. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. These are MAC Connecting Color <laughs> palettes, all four of them. And I was hesitant about this one because it's cool tone. This is Unfiltered Nudes. It made me think about Subliminal, like how that palette surprised me. This one, the colors are true to MAC. The colors are true to pan. When I put them on, what you see here is, is, is what's on my lid. And I love it for that reason. I don't have any problems. I already talked earlier about why I like Max Formula. But this, I have two looks. I think we did two columns and then two columns. I think that's what we did with this. And I really like it. And also, like, look at the packaging on these. Look, look. Look at the packaging on these. And what's on the outside <clears throat> is what's on the inside. Do yourselves a favor. When I looked at some of these online, when I this is encrypted. No, it's not. Which one is encrypted kryptonite? Is this the one? Yeah, this is encrypted kryptonite. What you see on the outside, you see all those colors? That's what you see on the inside. Online, I already was considering unfiltered nudes. And I was looking at encrypted kryptonite and i'm like you know what they look similar online i looked at them in person i'm like hell no like each palette is distinct and i'm just like what mac is still that 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 person i'm not gonna say that that girl or that dude because there's some non-binary or transgender mac is still the, the it thing the, still the it person like for real and I I feel like I'm almost going back to my roots. I say that because I started with Stila Cosmetics and then like mm, less than a year moved to MAC. But I really feel like I'm going back to my roots. This palette right here, even though, you know, it's cool zone, kind of neutral-ish, this works for me. I love the looks that I did with this palette. Easy, no fuss, no muss. And I think I have a MAC palette over there. I have the my BYO palette, but I'm going to put that one over there. This one is Encrypted Kryptonite. I have a look with this. This is beautiful. <laughs> they look so much better in person, y'all. I'm just like, ugh. and they got me with the holiday collection. I didn't intend on getting it. I went to the store and seen it, and the next day I ordered it. Well, that night, because I went home and went through rackets and I ordered it for pickup the next day. But this is Encrypted Kryptonite. And the, pack the, the packaging, it is just beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. This one is Bronze Influence. Some of these, I will say, I'm going to say it. Come for me. I don't care. They do have Pat McGrath Mothership vibes. Because this one, I thought, subliminal vibes. Not as dark, not as rich, but just the overall vibe. And I think maybe because it's cool slash neutral tone. And the same with um, Encrypted Kryptonite. To me, it has subliminal vibes. Not the same formula at all. No, I'm not saying formula-wise. I'm just talking about color-wise. So let me put this over here. This one is... <clears throat> I got really hyped talking about the Martine Cosmetics. Now my throat is hurting because I was kind of like, like talking really forcefully because I was so excited. And something told me to have something to drink over here with me. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to be that person sipping stuff in videos. But I understand why they do because my throat is really sore and scratchy. And yet I'm still babbling. So let me just get to why we're here. This one is Bronze Influence. Look look at the colors. Look at the colors. That's what you get. And you might think, there was no green on there. Everything you see on here is inside. I love it. Bronze Influence. This... <laughs> Which one did I not show you? Embedded in Burgundy. They have a rose something. And all of these are in the connecting color line, including the limited edition ones. And I have three of those, a 12 pan, no. Yeah, 12 pan and two six pans. What's that 12? Yeah, 12 pan. <laughs> Can I count? Yeah, two, <laughs> two 12, a 12 pan. And two six pans and the limited edition ones that look like snowflakes, but it came out in October. But anyway, 
but they have a rose something. And I didn't get that one because even in person, it looked a little more cool than I wanted. It, it had mothership vibes too, but I'm like, I wouldn't really use that one. And this one embedded in burgundy is a little deeper than the rose one. So you see these colors, the packaging is just oh, so pretty. Embedded in burgundy. Y'all, th this, and these again are all palettes I used in October. So, you know, browse through my playlist and just see. I had the pre-made palettes in a playlist that said pre-made and BYOP, but earlier today I went ahead and did a Max Connecting Color playlist for the Max Connecting Color since I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight now there's one that i've used so far that i did not use this month which y'all did agree it it had sunlit seduction vibes and i'm gonna show it even though i didn't use it this this month in october but this is embedded in burgundy they look so much better in person y'all online they look a little dusty ashy whatever i went in person i was like oh that's how i ended up with all of them because i was just going to get unfiltered news and i and I was going to get the bronze one, bronze influence, but I ended up with all, all of them except one. So this is Embedded in Burgundy. This is the one I did not use this month. This is Future Flame. You see? Hmm. This one has sunless seduction vibes. And when I did the videos, y'all were like, it really do. <laughs> I did a look these two columns, second look these two columns, or vice versa. But we used two columns for a look, two columns for a look. Mm -hmm. These are $54 for price. Mac has cells. They're sold at Ulta. Ulta has cells. Some of the seduction vibes, but it's, it has more variety. Look at these colors. So I did not use this one this month, but I have used it before. Oh, shit. And the Hi-Fi. You see all these funky colors? Funky being a good thing. This is the one where the chrome yellow, this shade here didn't show up on me. But this is, so, I used this palette all by itself. It's not a, it can be a companion palette, but for me, I used it by itself. And... This is carbon, which is a matte black. This is a dual chrome. Just the basic, you know, the red to, to green, the basic flip. But this, y'all, try don't sleep on Mac. I know we want the new, new, but there's something to be said for a brand that's tried and true for like 20, 30, 40, whatever plus years. Like there's something to be said about that. So we have one more. And y'all, if you think about it, you already know what it is. One more that I used this month that I have not talked about yet. And just recently, I did a bunch of videos with it. I think I did five looks so far. Natasha Denona Z9 palette. And I think yesterday, it'll have aired by the time you see this one. I thought of palettes I can possibly pair this with, or at least some shadows from other Natasha palettes, other palettes in general that I can pair this with. And so I'm super excited. This is what it looks like, y'all. I... This this palette excites me. I, the first look I did was hella busted, but we tried something new. Um, it was another look I did when I did the silver under here, silver liner under there. I didn't like how that looked, but it's the learning experience. And so I don't mind trying new things. And this palette for me screams, bitch, do something different. Come out of your damn comfort zone. If you keep doing what you always did, you're always going to get what you always got. This palette is not that palette. And when I see videos, when they're just, you know, the typical transition shade, crease shade, lid shade, all of the looks are the same. I, I've seen amongst the 10 plus videos I've seen with this palette, between like maybe all 10 of them, I've only seen three different distinct looks because they keep doing the same thing. I don't want to keep doing the same thing. I want to show you something different or at least motivate you and encourage you to try something new. It's only makeup. You don't like it wash it off but even if you don't like the look learn from it like that first look i'm like okay i know not to do this again um i know to tweak this this way next time when i did the silver line under my brow i'm like okay don't put the silver all the way in here just maybe do the brow arch and so even when you don't like how a look comes out learn what you could do next time to make it be the way you like it i know that sentence sounded weird tweak it Look at it and be like, I don't like this. Maybe next time I'll do this different. You know what I'm saying? So it's a learning experience. And that's why I do encourage you guys to try new things. And that's why I try new things. And if it come out busted, hashtag we tried it and we learned something. We learned not what to do again. We learned what to tweak. 
we learn something else that we can try. We learn something that we like and we can practice it and do it again. And so don't try not to feel like I'm going to just do the same thing because it's easy and it's safe. Like mothership uh, seven, it's easy, it's safe, it's quick, it's comfortable. Do you always just want to be comfortable? You don't learn when you're comfortable. You learn when you stretch yourself and when you grow and when you try something new and something different. That's how you learn. That's how you grow. And I want to encourage all of you to do that. It's only makeup. It washes off. If you don't like it, learn from it, move on. But this palette screams do something different and it excites me. Yes, it's, it's a grayscale. Who would have thunk it that I would be so excited? This shows up blue. This shows up blue. This shows up blue. And only one is black. One is a metallic black. But they all show up with a blue tint on me, just different finishes. And I do like her sparkling wet finish. This is what I was saying earlier about. I'm not all about high shine shimmer shimmer. But these high shine shimmer shimmer. <laughs> I actually like it because it works. I put this on the lid. This is called Blizzard. I layered it with this shade. It looked like a snowy night. I was like, this is so pretty. It was the reverse smoky eye look I did that was a member request. If you're curious about membership, there's a link to click to see what the perks are. If it's worth it to you, go for it. If not, don't worry about it because even you being here supports my channel and I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm thankful that you're here. Um, but this palette, this did show up pink on me just on the lid, the first look I did. And I was wondering if it was because of the Fenty primer and I think on the packaging on the box it says Invisa Pink and you see when I apply the primer it, ha it has a slight tint to it but then when I blend it out it looks like it's not a tint to it but then once I do my shadow sometimes you can see it looks a little dusty in this area where there's no shadow I do have shadow there today and so because it has a very slight hint of pink I'm wondering if that's what pulled the pink out in this one I'm not sure um but I saw somebody else that did show up pink. And this does show up blue, a metallic blue. Why does that look like it has a line in there? I think I must have gouged it. You see this line over here? What did that? I don't know. But I am going to use Max Paint Pot and Mac Will Violet, which is a purple. Let me open that up for you. And I'm going to put this on and put this pink on top of it because I want to see if it's going to pull more of the pink out. And so I'm already having ideas of, you know, put on a black base, see if it brings out some of the shine. This has like a great, everything is gray based in here. It's a gray scale, but this is more of a white. This, this is a topper. It just showed up just shiny over top of this. So, but over, I'm thinking if, if I take the matte, excuse me, the matte black from Xenon or put it over Sposh. I think Sposh is supposed to be the black one. I have the names and finishes and shade descriptions here. No, Sposh is a matte cream to powder charcoal. Which one is the black? There is a black in here. Which one? Metallic black. Night Sky. This says... <clears throat> This is night sky and it says metallic black, but this shows up blue is showing me too. Not as blue as this one, which is described as a blue, but this one shows up like a deep, like blue black or black blue, whatever. This doesn't show up as a black on me, but I'm curious about putting down like a for real, for real black or even the Mac paint pot in black and putting this over it. This has a gray tint to it, that shade, and seeing what that'll pull out. This is definitely just a straight topper shade. As I said, this one did show up pink on me. This one, excuse me, does show up. I used them on their own initially because I just wanted to see what they would look like. This one I'm thinking of putting over a brown base just to see like what will happen. Will it pull out the brown? This is, a, I believe, a medium light champagne shade. And I'm excited about this palette. This looks nice. It, this doesn't make me look ashy, but it looked nice with whatever I paired it with. This one is a lighter gray, which I'm indifferent about. Surprisingly, this is a matte white, but it has a gray base too. I've used this on my inner corner and it pulled kind of grayish, like a light gray. How this showed up is how this one looks in the pan. And this is a light gray and this is a matte white. And so I could do without this one. And I'm trying to think of what to put in there. This shade Flurry blends out other shades really nicely. It does have the potential to make me look a tad dusty. But depending on how I blend it, then it doesn't. But this palette is at the top because it excites me and it motivates me and inspires me to do something new. 
if you get this palette and you want to get the most out of it and not get bored like oh okay all the looks look the same if you want to get the most out of it you have to do different things either different shadow placements different color combinations even though it's all grayscale but you have to or layer or something if you just do your typical comfortable way of doing makeup all your looks are going to be the same and you're going to be like i'm going to return it it was a waste of my money even on sale and for that just get the mini xenon if you just want the basic shades because i can say the majority of the looks so far i've done with this you can do with this one with the pink no but the other shades you can get the same if not extremely close with just the mini so if you want to just stick to your comfortable way of doing your makeup just get the mini if you want to do a gray black smoky look but if you want to be inspired, if you want to come out of your comfort zone, if you want to try new things, you want to experiment, this palette does it for me. So out of what's my top, we have Natasha Denona. I'm going to keep Xenon out because that's all by itself. <laughs> we're going to do, so we're going to rank um, between Natasha Denona and Xenon. Natasha Denona in general, even though this is Biba. MAC in general, even though we have connecting colors and we have BYOPs. So MAC in general, <clears throat> Lethal in general, 50-50 makeup and 50-50 combined with Swamp of Sorrows and Martine Cosmetics. Right now... And I'm not going to do, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number six will be, is that right? Yeah. Number six will be 50-50 Makeup and Swamp of Sorrows. And I'm putting this together because I was, I do really love these two palettes on their own. This one I, I was on the fence and I was really struggling, but when I paired it with the Autumn palette, I was like, okay, this is bomb. So that's the only reason this is at the bottom, which is number six. And also because you can't get 50-50, you cannot get 50-50 makeup anymore unless you just find it secondhand somewhere. Um, Swamp of Sorrows, you still can get. Um, so if you if this is your color story, do get that. But that's the only reason this is six is because this was a struggle until I paired it. And because you can't get the 50-50 makeup anymore. So that's number six. Number five. <sighs> number five. Oh, gosh. I hate ranking. <laughs> number five, I'm going to say lethal as a whole. Now, granted, all of these that's in this pile right here, they're my vibe and they rock. So this is very hard. Um, but because rankings, some people say, are fun, even though they drive me friggin' nuts trying to do them. I'm going to say lethal as a whole. Um, and I do have a few pre-mades. I think I have two pre-mades. Two, three. How many do I have? At least three pre-mades. I have Berlin 99. It is not Berlin 89. I have Nightflower and I think something else. All the rest of them are pre-mades. And so as a whole, number five, because they are, I'm sorry, the majority are BYOP. So only number five for Lethal because they are BYOP. And so you, for me, you know, picking which shades that I wanted to make the palettes with. But I do like all the palettes that I made though. And I don't pair them because they're already put together from single shadows. I did pair once because I did a collab. She purchased a palette or she put together a palette. So we were just matching up the shades. And so I did go into different palettes for that one because I had to get the shades that she was using. But so only because I had to build them the way I wanted them. Which is exciting, very time consuming. Sometimes they have free shipping, which is amazing. If you complete a palette, um, you get a percentage off. If you do a 12 pan, nine, 12, what the hell? If you do a 12 pan palette, 
I think that come I think there's a 30% off if you complete the 12 pan. For a six pan is it's less percentage off. And so usually I shop it when their website when they have um free shipping. The percentage off the palettes is standard. And also I use Teresa's the her code, which is garbage, because that gives me another 10% off. And so since I get the discount from completing a palette and I get the 10% off from using her code, I go ahead and pay the extra six bucks for um, expedited FedEx shipping unless they're offering free shipping. And so the discount in the code offsets the shipping for me. And so, but that's the only reason this is number five is because I have to build it if I want it. But again, all of these I'm showing you right now are my vibe and I love them. 50-50 makeup, Swamba Soros was iffy until I paired it. But I do really love their formula. So that was the struggle for me with that. If you want to hear about that, watch that playlist in those videos. So Lethal is number five, only because I have to build it. But the formula for me is phenomenal, except the pure metals. My eyelids was like, troll, take that off right now. Or we will pop your eyeballs out of your head. So now, oh. Number four. I said that's so weird. This is hard. I want to do a tie, but we're not because it's a ranking. Natasha Denona as a whole. Because the palettes, the formula works for me. I love her creamy matte powder. I love her cream to powder formula. This is B, but you know that. But just as a whole, because they work. I have Leela. Oh my gosh, I love Leela. I have looks with that palette too. <clears throat> Diva, um, Circle Loco, uh, Yucca Palette, or Yucca Palette, depending on where you're from. Retro Glam, because eh, half the palette, I don't like the shades because they're too light for my liking. But so number four as a whole would be Natasha Denona. If we were tying but we're not so number three but if we were tying i would also tie with tie natasha with mac as a whole the packaging y'all like what this is just gorgeous it just works for me and the colors show up on me true to pan the same with natasha's um except for creamy mats because if you pack them it's true to pan when you blend it you lose some of it but i like it because i can pack it blend it and where i want more saturation i just pack where i want it so for me it works i'm a packer anyway so it wasn't a learning curve for me because that's just how i do my makeup anyway some people hate it because they're like it blends away pack more where you want it boo boo it'll be all right but mac as a whole because it, it just works for me the shadows just work they show up true to pan no fuss no muzz minimal to no fallout and the color stories are beautiful. And if you want to put your own palette together, you can do that too. I have four, I think, um, 12 pan pre-made palettes. I mean, um, four BYOPs, 12 pan build your own palettes from MAC. And then I just showed you a bunch of the connecting color. And I still have the other three I haven't used yet. But MAC just works for me. So this would be tied for Natasha if we can't tie. This will be number three, just MAC as a whole, period, with their eyeshadows. This should be tied too. <laughs> Martine Cosmetics 669 is going to be number two, and it pains me to say that because this is 100% my vibe. Any one of my aesthetics I want, vampy, swamp water, grungy, the messy grunge, dark and smoky. Those are my four vibes. Sometimes we're a little punked on it. This gives me all of that. And I love the formula of this palette, except this one is she Cornelia is a messy little hoe. But other than that, like this, this, I really want another one of these. If somebody from Martine's team is watching, please, I beg of you. Even if you make just one, if it's less than $150, I promise I won't buy it. Like, I'm being serious, y'all. I love this that much. So that's, that, but why is it number two? Because if we can't tie it, it's number two. If we can tie it, it would be tied number one with Natasha Denona's Xenon palette because of how much this friggin' excites me. This, this, this excites me to experiment, to try new things, to do something different, come out of my comfort zone. And 
the, the other day I'm thinking, oh, I can pair, you know, that with this or put, you know, a purple color base under here. I can put something under here. I can blah, blah, blah. So it's exciting me. And it's not usual for me to look at a palette and be like, oh, I can pair it with this. I can do this. I can do that. I don't usually roll that way. This palette is bringing out something in me and I like it. Now, whether it will extend beyond this palette, I don't know. But right now, I'm enjoying it. And so that is why this is number one is because I am so excited about it. And it's not even because it's new. But because it just is bringing something out of me, some creative spark out of me that I never knew I had as far as makeup. And that's why this is number one. If I could pair it, I mean, not pair it. If I was... What was the word? If I were doing ties, these two would tie for number one. But because we're not, this is number two, 100% my vibe. Number one, because this freaking excites me and it's, ign it's igniting something in me that other palettes have not done. And so number one, Xenon, because of how much it excites me. Number two, because we're not doing ties. Martine Cosmetics 669 palette because it's 100% four of my different vibes that I like. MAC as a whole, number three, because it just friggin' works. Natasha Denona, other than Xenon, number four, because it just friggin' works. <laughs> Lethal, number five, only because I have to build the palette I want from their singles because I prefer the dark base and the black base, dual chromes and multi chromes. And so that's why I built the majority of my Lethal palettes is because those are the tones that I like. And most of their dual chromes and multi-chromes and metallics are light-based, and I prefer dark. So that's the only reason number five is because I have to build it to be what I want it to be. Number six, 50-50 makeup coupled with Swamp of Sorrows because I was struggling with Swamp of Sorrows until I paired it with the Alden palette. And also the, these are number six because... 50-50 makeup is no longer available. So as much as I really love the formula, I love how they perform, I love the looks I did, you can't get it anymore. And so that's why I stress, just look at the colors and try and do it for something that you have. So that is my monthly roundup. This video was hella freaking long. Thank you for being here. I am parched. I'm going to go drink some water. I'm going to fix my lunch. I'm having salmon today. I'm going to put it in a salad. Um, but yeah, right now I need a beverage. <clears throat> my throat is very scratchy. Um, and I'm thirsty. Let me know your thoughts on all of these friggin' palettes. When I counted them, I'm like, I used a lot of friggin' palettes this month. Like, that was a lot of stuff. But let me know any particular one that caught your attention, caught your eye. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know your overall thoughts on how I ranked the, the six brands slash palettes. Um, and I do recommend y'all go back to Mac. They don't have that program anymore, but just go in either Ulta or the Mac store and just look and it's just, you know, Mac, these connecting color ones, these are 54 full price. The six pans are $30 full price. Ulta has sales, Mac has sales for the price and for what you get and the beautiful packaging. If you're into packaging, I do highly recommend it. And as you saw, they do have mothership vibes. I'm not saying they're dupes. They are not dupes, but the vibe of some of the motherships are also in the Connecting Color Mac palettes. And so let me know what you think. You know, these are on the bottom, so I ain't even going to talk about those no more. <laughs> I'm going to go. This was hella freaking long. There's not anything to edit. Um, thank you for being here. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and thumbs up the video comments always welcome and again there's a lot of links below um shop my has actual website you can shop on sephora ulta mac store pat mcgrath beauty bay or Be yeah beauty bay something else um and i do earn a commission on that i have an amazon link <clears throat> once you click on the link anything you buy uh, will count it, it, it links to a lotion you don't have to get the lotion but once you're on the website the same as any other website whatever you get will count whatever you get i do appreciate if you use my link shop responsibly don't feel like 
okay, I need to get this just because. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Shop responsibly. Shop sells. And again, with Shop My, once you get on whatever the website is, you will get whatever discount or sell the website has, which is different than using a code because sometimes you can only use one code and you can't stack them. And so I do prefer um, if you do shop through websites because you will still get that sale. So anyway, we're going to go. This is hella long. Thank you for being here. If you made it this far, put a troll emoji. Because <laughs> then I'll know you really made it unless you just skip to the end. But I appreciate you from being here, for being here. And I'm going to go, this, 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 this was a lot and it surprised me, but I'm glad we did this next month. Shouldn't be this long. It shouldn't be this this many. It was what, like 18? I'm going to go. I'm starting to babble. I'm dehydrated. I'm delirious. I'm hungry. I need to eat. I need to go. As always, <clears throat> self-acceptance and self-love. That is the crazy troll nation way. I'm tired. Thank you. <laughs> and you will see me soon. Now I'm going to see if I can hold all of these up for the thumbnail. Oh, no. Maybe I'll just take a picture. <laughs> see ya freaking nuts oh lord help me don't let nothing fall don't let nothing fall <sighs> can we get all of these in the screenshot lean back oh i did it oh shit <laughs> oh shit